Hey everyone, Heather Martin, if you don't know, um, and I offer a childbirth class for new moms, experienced moms, maybe you're a new dad or um, your, you know, your significant other is pregnant and you want to kind of know how to support her um, during this process. So um, if you're interested in that, dive in there. The link is in the description below. But anyways, in this video, we are going to talk about induction methods at home, okay? So these are like self-help techniques at home to induce labor. But these um, aren't proven to induce labor, but some people have stories and um, things that have helped to induce labor, okay? Now before you would ever induce labor at home, you need to talk to your provider or your healthcare worker or your midwife or whoever is helping you with this labor um, and delivery process, who's been helping you guide you through this pregnancy. You need to talk to them first before you induce labor, okay? Um, I am not a doctor. I cannot, I don't know your body and I don't know your baby. So I can't tell you like, hey, you need to do this or this would work for you, okay? I am just telling you overall examples and ways that people have induced labor at home, okay? So first we're gonna talk about walking. Walking is a great way to induce labor. If your body is already ready to, um, to go into labor or let's say labor has started and um, it's not progressing very quickly. Walking will help baby engage into the birth canal to, um, to start the contractions moving, moving further along, maybe um, dilate your cervix a little bit quicker um, to get labor moving, okay? Um, intercourse is a good one. Um, that one can help induce labor, depending how far along you are, again, in your pregnancy, okay? Castor oil, um, this is something that you would take internally, one time on an empty stomach. A lot of people have said this actually makes them sick and it doesn't really induce labor, but there are stories that this helps to induce labor as well. Acupressure, there are certain um, pressure points on the body that can actually induce labor. Um, acupuncture, so it's kind of the same as acupressure, but acupuncture is the little needles um, that can actually help induce labor, induce labor okay? Um, spicy foods, some people say that the spicy food helps um, contraction start and baby's like, hey, you know, what's going on? <laughs> not into this. And um, the spicy foods can start contractions. Um, um, there is also pumping or nipple stimulation. So really be careful with the pumping aspect of this if you're trying to induce labor. Again, talk to your provider before you try any of these methods, okay? So let them know, hey, can I try um, intercourse and pumping and have that open dialogue with them. Um, squats is a good one. It helps open up the pelvis and helps baby engage. Um, and then ball bouncing. So if you have one of those, um, those big like workout balls, you can sit on there and then just bounce up and down. Again, that helps with the engaging the baby into the birth canal. Um, Once again, have this open dialogue with your provider. Um, if you're unsure of how to start that dialogue, then you can watch my video about the BRAIN method, the acronym BRAIN, um, which is very beneficial and can be helpful in starting the conversation about anything that you need to talk about with your provider, okay? Don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell to get notified of new videos, especially if you're pregnant or you're a new mom or a, a new um, dad, you're becoming a new dad. Um, hit that button and get notified of these awesome videos so that you can be more educated throughout the process of the pregnancy and the labor and delivery. Um, and I will see you in the next video.